Kids are really great at finding things. They have energy and enthusiasm. They're as quick and nimble as a rabbit and as sharp-eyed as an eagle. And they love to explore. So searching for almost anything is fun. Now there are scientists who are asking kids all across America to join a search party to help them find something that's missing. Let's meet one of them. Hi, I'm John Losey, and I'm an entomologist. Entomologists study insects, and I want to tell you about my favorite insect, ladybugs. John likes ladybugs so much, he's been studying them for years. He knows they're appealing to kids like you, mostly because they're cute and colorful, but also because they're friendly little insects. John also knows that ladybugs are incredibly important to farmers, who rely on them to gobble up agricultural pests that can ruin their crops. Things like aphids and uh, mealybugs, scales, even small uh, caterpillars, and they um, eat uh, pests both in, when they're adults and when they're young and when they're, we call them larvae and so throughout their whole life stage they, they, can, they can eliminate pests. Experts have identified more than 5,000 species of ladybugs worldwide and about 450 species live in North America. John says of those only about 70 species are the ones you think of as ladybug. In studying them over the years he and his fellow entomologists have noticed a troubling trend. Some native species of ladybugs are missing from the landscape in areas where they once were very common. The nine-spotted ladybug, for example, and the transverse ladybug. They're disappearing, and if, if they continue to disappear, there may not be enough ladybugs to control the pests so that we can grow the crops that we need. Scientists don't understand why certain ladybugs have become so rare, but it's really important to find out why they've disappeared and where they are now. However, there aren't enough entomologists to track all the ladybugs. So John and some of his colleagues came up with a plan called the Lost Ladybug Project. It's an online research effort that's supported by a grant from the National Science Foundation. John says there are two reasons why kids like you should get involved. One is, is that they can actually participate in a, in a real scientific experiment and they can join with kids from all over the country in, in adding data um, to this big experiment. The second reason is that researchers hope to get some answers as to why native ladybug species seem to be losing ground. But they can't do it alone. They need your help to track ladybugs in yards, parks, meadows, and fields across the country. It's easy and it's a lot of fun. People who join the search are called spotters, and the role they play is critical to the research. Take Allison Yates, a six-year-old girl from Oregon. She and her mom went out and looked for ladybugs in their backyard. So they sent these pictures in, they were great pictures, and we saw that they had found uh, the nine-spot ladybug in their yard, and that's the rarest ladybug in the, in the United States, maybe one of the rarest in the world. And, and so we, we wrote back and said, this is great, please keep looking. Over the next few days, they found more and more of these rare ladybugs. Allison explained how John Losey's Lost Ladybug Project got her excited about looking for the little critters. I found, uh, uh, since I looked, I looked at the different parts and I, I looked at this, the number of spots and I was like, that must be a lost ladybug because I found that there were, because I knew there were different kinds of ladybugs, so I said, hmm, that looks like a lost ladybug, because I knew there were a different number of spots than most ladybugs. I felt really proud that I had discovered one of them. It made me feel very happy. John and his team were so intrigued, they took a flight to Oregon themselves to join the search. They were able to collect enough nine-spotted ladybugs to start their own colony back home at the lab. And um, we've been able to run experiments on, on these ladybugs to see what they eat, how they live, and this data is already giving us some clues as to why uh, ladybugs like this species may have started to decline. That means that young Allison Yates was not just having fun, she was helping save a little piece of our world. <laughs> Kids should get involved because one, it's a, it's a way to, to do some real science, uh, not, not just an exercise, it's actually science that needs to be done. So far, more than 3,000 spotters have participated in the Lost Ladybug Project, and they've submitted more than 6,000 photographs, which scientists have used to identify more than 80 species. John is hoping you'll come on board this research train. Whether you're a kid or a grown-up, everyone is welcome. 
and everyone's contribution is valuable. Every ladybug you find, whether it's rare or common, helps solve the mystery of the lost ladybugs. And Allison, why do you think others should get involved? Because I think that that <laughs> that they would be very excited if they did find a real one. They would be not just that, but if they would that they would be that Cornell University would be excited for them too that they had found. If you'd like to help us out in this project and become one of our Lost Ladybug Spotters, then come see our website at lostladybug.org.